today we are going to be looking at word art okay now with word art you can obviously do far more than with ordinary or your ordinary character formatting so the first thing we need to do is to actually find well where is word art so if i go up to my ribbon and i go to the insert tab and i go all the way over to the right to my text category over here you'll see i've got word art and they give me a number of templates um, if I move my mouse pointer over that, I can actually see what that particular style is. So I'm just going to select any one over here and you'll see what it does. Okay, it gives me a text box. I can move that text box any way I want to. And you can see the formatting that's already there. So I'm going to just type in here, John Smith Watson. And you'll see something happens in my ribbon. Let me just click somewhere else. The ribbon looks normal. Right? But when I click on my actual text box or on my word art, you'll see a shape format or drawing tools actually opens up and I've got a whole range of options over here. So I can change um, things to do with the shape, okay? formatting around the shape itself. In other words, this rectangular shape, I can put a border in there. Um, I can indicate whether it should be filled or not. Um, I can change the color of that outline. And I can change some of the effects again to do with the shape itself, not to do with the text. Okay. When I click on that again, go to shape format. Now you'll see here in the middle, I've got my word art styles. So first of all, if I'm not too happy with the way that text looks and that particular style, I can go and change it over here. And let me change it to this one. Again, I've got the same or similar options to what I had with my shape. I can change the fill, in other words, the color inside the text. I can change the color of the text outline. You can see over there. And then I can add some effects, things like a shadow, um, a reflection. I can add a bevel, right? And you can see how that changes. I can add a 3D rotation. Okay, I'm going a bit far now. <laughs> and I can transform it um, as you can see over there. Let me actually just move it this way so you can see how that transformation takes place. Now, what's important here is when I move my mouse pointer over these options, you can see each one has a particular um, label to it. So if they tell you that they want you to insert word art and apply a particular glow they'll give you the wording they'll give you the the name of that and you can just um, go and select it okay and this is basically uh, what word art is and how we can insert word art into our document